Hi Aquarius, welcome in, welcome in. Uh, if you are new to my channel guys, thank you for stopping by and giving me a listen to the channel. I really truly appreciate it. I only ask one small favor. If you guys resonate with the video and you like the content, please do me a favor. Hit that like, share, and subscribe at the bottom so it helps the channel get up and circulating. And that's just unfortunately how YouTube works with its algorithm. But with that said, Aquarius, please listen to the other weekly videos I've done as not all storylines are going to resonate with you Aquarians. There's thousands of you guys. So the other weekly videos might be happening to you now as opposed to this. This could be happening to you coming down the pike. And with that said, I'm also suggesting and recommending you guys also listen to your moon and your rising. Hold on a second. That's way too many. Your moon and your rising so you can get a total picture of what's going on for you in your in your life. So those little details, if you extrapolate those messages that are meant for you, you're going to get the whole picture that could be possibly for you guys. All right, so this is the Aquarius. This is the messages I'm receiving. So this is going to be the message for the Aquarian that... Ooh. Okay. Oh, snap. Shit, I see nothing but good stuff, actually. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. You, two, Okay, so there was somebody that you were either married to or wants to marry you or somebody you were living with or wants to live with you. Hey, this is somebody you're dating, somebody you're serious with. Well, you guys are like soul partners. You're like soulmates. At least you see each other that way. This was manifested either you by, by you or by them or by the universe. I'm going to tell you right now, Archangel Michael, for some reason, is guiding this relationship. It's res it's restoring balance or bringing balance into your dynamic. Because at some point, I don't know if you guys broke up or you took a time out. Because why are you single? All that happiness over there. King of Wands. You're dealing with an Aries. Leo, Sagittarius. If that's not you, guess what? The, there, is an, there is a king sign coming very much into your life in a big, fat, whopping way. And they're going to offer you something serious. So I don't know if this is a fire sign that you guys have been like flirting with in the recent past or somebody that you were interested in and you manifested them in your life. I don't know if you were stalking them. I'm telling you right now, one of you was stalking. Don't, I, I'm like, I'm one of those readers where I'm a little bit direct and upfront. I'm sorry if that's not, you don't like my style. Of course, you know, there's a, a lot of amazing readers out there, but I don't do the fluffy rainbow unicorn stuff thing. No, you've been stalking this person, not in a crazy way. You just, you know, you had your eye on this person. They may also have their eye on you. Of course, this is why we say flip the energies as they come. You know, this might not be you, it might be them. It is definitely a fire sign. 100%. And you manifested or you tried to manifest this person into your life. Like, how do I get this person to talk to me? Or they did this to you. How do I manifest to get, you know, Aquarius into my life? And when they do, they offer you something. Okay, let's continue. You are thinking about investing time and energy into this person or they are thinking about that with you. This could have been somebody that you have been on and off with a fire sign in and out like you, you have a commitment but and but they're not pulling the trigger as far as marriage that's for a lot of you Aquarius too because I have the four of cups and the four of wands in reverse sorry four of wands in reverse means like in the upright this is marriage this is proposal this is a higher level of, of relationship moving in buying a house whatever these are master numbers 11 11 this is walking through the pearly gates this is the walking also through a portal but in the reverse it's not walking through it's not happening the foundation isn't forming for whatever reason you're in a stag period of stagnation not stagnation but a waiting like a waiting period an assessment period more or less the assessment is probably the more precise word that I'm looking for here but what here's what's coming towards you this is gonna take a lot of work and effort on your part you're the wounded warrior right here but it's saying don't give up don't stop we're going to clarify and we're going to get more. But this does tell me you have some of your guard up. You're like shielding your heart right now. The Ace of Wands. You are getting a passionate new offer. 
and four of cups, but you're not looking at it. You're you're for some reason you're just disregarding this this offer. You're not interested. The universe is saying take a second look because we gave it to you. Outcome. Three of Pentacles. Collaborating with somebody. This could be at work for sure. This could be a team. They need you more than you need them. P.S. This is work. In relationship, they're desperate to be working with you. They're desperate to do some kind of collaboration with you. Three of Cups. Three of Pentacles. I don't know if this person that you were living with stepped out on you. There was a third party situation. This can also talk about a reconciliation. But there was a third party interference. Take it as it resonates. Let's see. Definitely third party. That's that's certain. What is the seven of pentacles for Aquarius? Oh. Last week of July, please. I'm just gonna shuffle one more time. Wow, they really don't want to shuffle. They were fine. Okay. Aquarius, Seven of Pentacles. Clarify Seven of Pentacles for me, please. It's too many. Wow. Yeah. You're looking at this soulship, this commute, this union, this relationship. You both love each other deeply. Like deeply. You're definitely dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, if they're not a fire sign, they're somebody very passionate. They could be an entrepreneur, a business owner. They're very witty, funny, actually, too. Like in a smart-ass kind of way. <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. But, oh my God, yeah. They see you as your other half. They see you, too, as a power couple. They see you also passionate in some way. Look at this. But they're... they're um, why are they challenging you? Why are they competing with you? It's stupid. They're being stupid. This is you trying to have a conversation with them with honesty, truth, and clarity. And Archangel Michael will step to give you this. But you guys are a dynamic couple together. That's why you're looking at it. Because maybe there was a third-party interference. Maybe there was past betrayal. I don't know. So maybe there's something about this person that you're you're just considering in this relationship that's what's going on you're assessing the third the last week of july this relationship this foundation because i don't know if this person walked out on you or you walked out on them let's see what's this four of wands this is a lot but i'm going to take it to cherry you're still remaining focused though you're going to move forward regardless this person has apologized. Uh, for a lot of you, it is an Aries. Some of you, it is a Taurus. Others of you could be a Sagittarius. Jesus, this is three major arcana. No, four. Oh, my God. Okay, so you have four major arcana that's coming towards you. What does that mean? I don't know why, but all your spirit guides and your angels of Aquarius are now descending upon you to guide you and guard you. Not only guard you, but to guide you in the right direction. Because they're afraid that maybe you're too cerebral. You're too in your head. You're too in your mind. And that you might actually cut something away from you that might be good for you. I don't know. Or it could be vice versa. To help you get rid of anything that's toxic. Because this is the apology for sure. But you are still remaining focused on yourself. Your life. Your, your work. Your whatever. This person, this emperor, maybe they're older than you. They're a father. They, they're very controlling. They have their own business. It's possible. This is definitely about a marriage and a relationship. 100%. This is most of you, a marriage. It could be with a Taurus also. There was a completion for sure. You said, okay, this is over. This is done. I'm going to start a new cycle. For a lot of you, and this is crazy. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there for you, Aquarius. I'm sensing some of you had a marriage. You ended it with a fire sign and then a new fire sign comes in and then you're you're scared you're scared that there's going to be a repeated pattern you're scared that there's that's why you're like guarding your heart i think that there's there's this new fire sign that's coming towards you terrifies you because it makes it reminds you it triggers you of your past for others of you this is just your past person trying to fix the situation who really wants to commit now who really wants to start a new chapter who wants a do-over in the marriage? 
or the foundation that you had because they turned the foundation to shit. Take it as it resonates. This is like a little bit crazy now for me because I'm I'm starting to get a bunch of Aquariuses here. This is you, Wounded Warrior. You're guarding your heart chakra. You do. This, Two of Wands, this is a big life choice. Huge life choice. These two of Wands are side to side. They're side by side. There isn't one in the future and one in the back and you're ready to go. You really are deciding because you're realizing, Aquarius, that the decision you make, this fork in the road, it's a whole different life if you go this way and a whole other life if you go that way. But it's going to begin with truth and honesty and clarity. You're going to be on the same page no matter what. What is this nine of wands? This is you exhausted and burdened also, by the way. What is this, this nine of wands? This is coming down the road. This is what you don't see coming. Yeah, two, you're getting the twos. I knew it. I so knew this was going to come out. Two of swords. You might have to decide between two men, or this could be the person from your past versus your future. This is what's burdening you right now. It's going to put you in your head. It's going to put you in mental jail. You're not going to know what to do. But mental jail only tells me it's just a, a matter of figuring out a solution. This is definitely about a lover. This is a choice. In my other readings, you hear me talk about lovers. Runner chaser, the universe put you guys together. I'm, you, you have almost every single major arcana come out. Two more. Here you go. This is serious fate stepping in. Fate doesn't come in unless they have to, but they're bringing you change and they're bringing you happiness. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo here. This is a Gemini here. I can't even go into elements with or zodiacs with Aquarius because almost every single one is on deck. But this is definitely talking about you stressed out between two people for some of you. Others of you, it's your, your past, your ex-husband or something like that, or the person you used to live with wants to come back. The, you've been a little bit stuck or stagnant. It, the wheel is moving. Whatever is coming towards you is going to make you very, very happy. This decision of lovers. You probably, I don't know. This tells me strongly, two lovers. Maybe you're the third, you're doing the third party. I don't know. You guys know. Eight of Swords. It's... You burned yourself because there's too many choices on the table here. And it's like getting into your head. Like, look at it. This is all, it's like the monsters in his head right there. Advice is to look at the opportunity that is being given to you by somebody new. This new, this new offer or whatever, whoever's offering you this passionate love. By the way, this is going to come out of nowhere. Knock your socks off. There you go. Tower moment. Here you are, Aquarius, remaining hopeful, looking at your true north. Look at that. Pandora. What's left in the box before she slams it shut because she releases all these monsters and all these creatures and all these demons? Hope is left. By the way, that's what the Greek word elpis, my, my channel, elpis enlightenment. Elpis is the Greek word for hope, like elpida. So that's what she's doing. You have hope. This comes out of nowhere. Yeah, you're trying to, you might, for some of you, you might have an issue with your mom. Some of you are moms, but you're trying to do what's best for you and your family. You are going to have a new person that gives you a cup of love. Yeah, this is also somebody from your past trying to give you a new, a do-over. And you take a leap of faith and you go towards that. And you, you, because, you know, maybe you are a mom and you're thinking about your kids or, you know, this is you nurturing and loving and giving into it, giving into that situation because you're remaining hopeful. And this comes out of nowhere, this option. Anyway, I'm sorry. Advice. Ace of Wands, Four of Cups. Wow. Ace of Wands clarified by the Ace of Wands. So the storyline I just gave you is exactly that. And that's your advice, to review the opportunity of somebody giving you a passionate new beginning. And it's definitely somebody from your past or somebody that's a soulmate. Three of Cups and Three of Pentacles. What is this? Third party. This could be dating. This is collaborating and working with somebody. This can be work. This is also celebrating something at work. For those of you that this is work-related, 
What is the three of cups and the three of pentacles? Jeez. Ace of swords, temperance, Sagittarius. You literally got almost every major arcana. King of cups. This person's going to pour their emotions out to you because they love you. They're going to come to you with truth and clarity and they're going to say, listen, this is what happened to me. I was dumb. I was insecure. I stepped out of line. I stepped out of bounds. I stepped out of our marriage vows. I did that because, I don't know, stagnation, boredom because the Four of Cups is here. Whatever stupid reason that they give you of their insecurities because you're valued here and they're valued there. And I don't know. A lot of fire sign. If you're dealing with the fire sign, they could be like, you know, I wasn't getting the emotional fulfillment from you. Whatever crap that they say to you, they're going to come back and they're going to explain themselves. And it's going to restore balance into your relationship with, with, with emotional fulfillment. But there was a third party. You, the third party person could have been a water sign. This could be you also. Don't know. This is a weekly reading. They're going to change in August. The other person could be a water sign to you. And the other one is a fire. Uh, yeah, this is going to be shocking. You're not even expecting this to happen. Think like maybe you moved on from your past. You meet somebody new. The ex comes back or you were waiting for it. I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah, it's repeating. This is going to be shocking. It's going to come out of nowhere. Let's get some romance oracle messages and move on with my lovely Aquarius. Aquarius. Trust that the universe is doing all of this for a reason. True love. You have true love with whoever you're thinking about or who you're dealing with. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Yeah, that's that. That's this Ace of Swords. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You need to have this. Especially with whoever's offering you this passionate new beginning. It is true love. Trust that this is all happening for a reason. A lot of you, Aquarius, I feel like just never left the person or never left the dynamic. You just went into think mode. I, I don't know. I don't know why I just said that, but th these are the downloads. Take them as they get resonate. Please leave me comments. I read all of them. I really appreciate them too because you give me feedback and it helps me and the channel. Okay, you are good enough. Yeah, I don't know if you, some of you are thinking, if you're feeling insecure or, you know, he stepped out on you because you think it was your fault. Fuck no, it's not your fault, Aquarius. It's theirs because they never communicated to you in the first place or somebody didn't. Adjustments are required. That's what's required. This communication. Adjustments are required. For this to work out and function the way you like, adjustments are required. That's communication. The end of a tough cycle approaches. This is done. Whatever this is, come August, things are very, very different for you, Aquarius. Very, very different. Yeah, you need to balance spirituality and practicality. Don't be too much in your head. You have to open up your heart chakra too. You have to think emotionally as well and be a little bit vulnerable to the situation and or the person. So that's my advice. I hope this helped you guys. Really, I do. Please leave comments below, share it, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next week, Aquarius. Bye now. Thank you.